Hey everybody, I'm Histocraft, and this is episode 5 of my Roman City Let's Build. To all my new subscribers, welcome to the channel, glad to have you here. And to all my old subscribers, thanks for sticking around. Sorry for the lack of content lately, I had a busy summer, but now I'll be back to regular uploading. In today's episode, I'm finally adding an important feature to any Roman city, the aqueduct. This massive conglomeration of arches brings water from a spring in the mountains all the way to the city using nothing but gravity. These impressive structures were vital to the running water enjoyed by Roman citizens. As a testament to Roman ingenuity, one such aqueduct still functions today, providing water to various fountains in the city of Rome. Next, I'm working on a large insula. For anybody new to the series, an insula is basically a Roman apartment building. In the beginning of this series, I was building these fully by hand, but due to their symmetry, I really only have to build a fourth of each floor and paste it around with world edit. However, each floor is always unique. As I build this up floor by floor, notice how the apartments get smaller on each level. This size decrease reflects the different socioeconomic groups within an insula. Wealthier citizens lived on lower floors where they could access running water and escape easily in case of fire or collapse. Poor citizens on the higher floors were not so lucky. In fact, conditions on upper floors were so dangerous that Emperors Augustus, Nero, and Trajan respectively created laws to cap their height. Now working on the top floor, I wanted to do something unique. So I've inlaid the apartments to leave space for a wrapping feature. At first, I just build another roof layer, but in the end, I'm gonna make it a public balcony. Now I'm kitty corner to my last build, I'm adding another insula to fill in the space between the aqueduct and the raised section of the city. In the background you're seeing another large building, you'd never guess it, but it's actually another insula. <laughs> I know, shocking. Now this insula, and a couple other surprises, I didn't record myself building. So stick around for the tour, which is coming up momentarily. Alright, now for the tour. We begin at the city's water source in the northern mountains. We will follow the path of this mighty aqueduct all the way to the city.
before entering the city, we'll check out another cool new feature I've added, a mighty eastern gate. As this would be the city's busiest gate, I've tried to make it ornate, yet still defensible. Passing under the double port cutlass, we find ourselves on the main avenue of the city. Immediately on our left is something else I didn't show you in the time lapse, another barracks. In the courtyard of this barracks, you can see training areas, an archery range, many chariots, and stables. Now we'll head across the street to the courtyard of the insula, taking a moment to enjoy the view of the main avenue. Now let's check out these builds from a bird's eye view. And we're back to a walker's perspective to admire this avenue.
As you can see, I've moved this insula over to make room for some public latrines. And finally, we'll check out this last insula, which I've built on the raised area of the city. Alright people, that'll do it for this episode. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Till next time everybody, peace out.